I'm surprised. Like, this guy is a massive channel, a massive influence, obviously. And he's framing this in a way like, hey, if you've had trouble losing weight because your diet sucks, instead of fixing your diet and actually getting the, the gym off your lazy ass, take this testosterone that you may not even need. What's up guys, Derek from ourplacemortaids.com. Today we are going to be talking about Dr. Joseph Cipriano. Cipriano, I don't fucking know. But he is a big YouTuber who is a chiropractor apparently. So some of his uh, most popular videos looks like a bunch of stuff went viral of uh, like crazy back cracks, first time chiropractic cracking on female athletes, severe hyperkiposis. Never heard of it. Pregnancy chiropractic adjustment. Mind-blowing first-time chiropractic adjustment. Severe scoliosis chiropractic crack. So presumably these are like very, you know, high view scoring videos because it's like this shit's cr crazy to see. Like the, the back crack shit is like cringy, but, you know, you can't help but watch it too. This is the most recent one. He was uh, cracking NFL. Uh, let's see. DJ. Oh, that's the same pharmacy. One of the same pharmacies we use. So anyways, DJ Jones gets cracked by Dr. Joseph uh, Soprano, or however the fuck you say it. So here, they are uh, talking about IV treatments. Okay. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Okay, so anyway, a lot of his uh, videos are really, like cracking people's backs, doing his job, just fucking reaming on people. And uh, interesting thing though, apparently he has uh, newly found the wonders of TRT. A bunch of people have sent me his uh, post that he just made about his weight loss transformation. I initially thought this was like a barber channel because I saw the picture. I was like, oh, that's like you know, grooming, men's grooming. He's got a nice little uh, thing going here. And he has great fucking hair, dude. Like, uh, this guy has uh, an exceptional do. And uh, is this his kid? Even his kid has fucking sick hair. So anyways, it looks like his kid is going to have some good hair genetics because this is what this guy's dealing with. But anyways, besides that, he has a very good before and after of his uh, weight loss journey. The thing that's interesting about it, though, is he talks about TRT in a fat loss context. So it's not like, oh, you know, like I was deficient in testosterone. I found out it was the reason by I was having, you know, issues building muscle and I had my dick wasn't fucking working and this and that. Instead, he says, if you need to lose weight, get your energy, libido and mind clarity back. Look no further. I hope my story inspires you to take that next step and find out how we can get you closer to your goals. I took the, the before photos just last year, being in my 30s, being a business owner and a dad to two. I truly didn't have the time nor energy to hit the gym like I should have. Like a lot of other men, I let my hectic work schedule, my stress, and in general life keep me from my potential. One day, I realized just how bad I've let myself go and decided it's time to make a change. That's when I found out about HRT, hormone replacement therapy, and the benefits of it. It truly sounded too good to be true, but I decided to give it a shot. Why not, right? Let me tell you, that changed the game. My mood improved, my energy levels were way up, my libido, well, let's just say my wife was happy. Laughing, crying face. And then the best, of course, was the changes to my outer appearance. I know you guys have been noticing in my recent videos. I know you've been seeing my fucking gains, bitch. This was little to no gym. I definitely still not eating the absolute best. I eat terrible and could only imagine how much better I'd look and feel if I ate better also. Seeing how it changed my life as well as my family's, I decided I have to bring it to my clinic to offer to my patients too. If you're interested, please DM me. I'd be happy to help you. This is a five month difference from August to January. I have pre and post blood work I can share if requested. And then his comment section's like, very interesting, hmm, intrigued, I'm interested, I wanna know more, interested, interested, blah, blah, blah. So this is a supplement or what? DM me your email if you're interested in more info. So, you know, obviously <laughs> the people who follow my shit, they know that this is like a really, kind of a fuckery way to go about marketing. Like this guy has a weight loss transformation, talks about how he literally is still lazy as fuck on his diet and is barely training, but he still lost all this weight and recomped his physique because, 
You know, you've seen probably the dose response studies with testosterone administration where you can get literally as much lean muscle growth as a guy who is training who's natural for a, you know, testosterone administered patient, you know, at super physiological amounts who's doing basically nothing. Does that mean you should go do that though? So you can maintain your shitty diet model that is not healthy and not train and not exercise. No, obviously fucking not. So the thing that's, I'm surprised, like this guy is a massive channel, a massive influence, obviously. And he's framing this in a way like, hey, if you've had trouble losing weight because your diet sucks, instead of fixing your diet and actually getting the, the gym off your lazy fucking ass, take this testosterone that you may not even need. Like, does that seem like a responsible way to market this shit? No, it doesn't. Like anybody who is literally prescribing it to people too, should be taking a way more responsible angle to this. Get your blood work done. See if you have any deficiencies, but address your lifestyle and diet. You don't need to jump to fucking a lifelong treatment, jump to anabolic androgenic steroids off the bat because you can't, you know, stick to fucking eating less food. Like, come on, dude. This is like, I'm shocked that this guy put this out there, you know, to be honest. Like this guy works with very high profile people and he's marketing this like it's, you know, the secret fat loss thing that, you know, some supplement company is selling, but it's fucking, medically prescribed testosterone replacement therapy that you're on forever that is prescribed for clinical deficiencies in most cases now obviously there's an argument for optimization and you know why shouldn't you be allowed to get on trt if you aren't like literally hypogonadal clinically i understand that it's the problem i have is the way it's framed it's framed in a way like i couldn't lose fat because i literally wouldn't go to the gym <laughs> and I wouldn't eat properly. So instead of doing both of those things, which are fucking obvious in order to become healthy, I started injecting exogenous testosterone. And look, it made a good difference. So that is what I'm suggesting you do too. You don't need to fix your diet. You just need to fucking inject tests for the rest of your life. Like, no, bro, this is the worst way to market your shit. Like, I am shocked that this information is being put out in this way. Like, the people in the comments have no idea what they're getting themselves into. Very interesting. Let me know. Like, tell me how to do it. Blah, blah, blah. Like, bro, this should be the first thing you look at. If you actually want to get on it and you're dead set on it, you understand it thoroughly, you understand the risks and blah, blah, blah. And I should say the implications, because obviously it's arguable, arguable whether therapeutic replacement is like, you know, risky, blah, blah, blah. You know, the fucking deal. Anyways, obviously the solution, <laughs> if your diet model is subpar, you're micronutrient deficient, you're fucking insulin resistant, you're not getting good sleep, you're not going to the gym and exercising, the answer is not inject steroids. The answer is to address those things, and then if you still have a deficiency that needs optimizing or addressing or however far you wanna take it, sure, look at the other shit. But it's like, even guys who are using super physiological amounts of steroids, bodybuilders, they'll be the first to tell you your results will be piss poor, and you're going to end up with far worse outcomes than you could otherwise, if you dialed in this shit, if you don't have a dialed in diet and training regimen and sleep hygiene practices, the steroids are only going to give you a fraction of what you could get. Are you going to literally shut yourself down, literally inject testosterone the rest of your life and not address all this other shit? Like to me, this is just baffling, baffling the way it's been put out there by a guy with such a big following. So if it were me and I was this guy, I would definitely take a step back and reevaluate this shit. Cause it's like, I don't even think he fully comprehends like how serious Testosterone replacement therapy is, he's just like, oh, you know, I wanted to eat fucking five Snickers a night and keep up my unhealthy lifestyle that is going to make me type two diabetic. So I am going to, you know what, instead of actually getting and exercising and actually, you know, maybe getting a balanced diet in, eating something that is, you know, sustainable long-term, I'm just gonna take tests. I'm just gonna take fucking testosterone, dude. I don't even have a clinical deficiency. I'm just gonna take fucking tests. Like, I don't know if this guy, <laughs> if he needed it or not, it's kind of irrelevant. It's more so the way he's framing it in that, forget the gym and diet. We all know you have busy lives. You know, it's hard to dial in your diet. Like, no, bro, fucking get the right shit at the grocery store. It's not that hard. And dial that shit in first, you know? Telling people to get, or suggesting to get on test and implying that somehow it's like going to, it's okay to leave this other shit that's like literally the fucking meat and potatoes of your mood regulation, your literal health status. So many fucking things in your life are literally dependent on this. But no, just lose the fat and gain some muscle by using tests. Like, no, dude, this is not how you should go about it. So anyways, I was very disappointed to see this by a guy who has such a massive following and people are going to take very seriously and be heavily influenced by this guy is a, you know, top chiropractor who's working on like sports stars and shit. So if he suggests something and says, oh, you know, you should be on TRT, people are going to be like, oh, like he probably knows best for me. Even if it has absolutely nothing, it's not based on any real fucking science whatsoever and is not even looked at background factors like lifestyle, like diet, like fucking sleep, like fucking basic shit that needs to be dialed in to be healthy.
Just because you're on test and you're getting a bit leaner, it doesn't mean that you can keep an unhealthy diet and live a fucking long and healthy life. It doesn't work like that. So anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Like this one fired me up a little bit. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, check out my blog. More plates, more dates.com. Follow me on Instagram. And more plates, more dates, more dates. Facebook, Snapchat, Bitchu, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below my TRT clinic. It's all telemedicine from the comfort of your own home. And you will get actual accurate diagnostics and lab work that is interpreted by individuals who don't just want to haphazardly throw you on fucking TRT. And will actually tell you if you have a deficiency or imbalance that would require addressing and what you may want to do and explore further to address that before you just jump on fucking test. But anyways, anything else I'm associated with, it's all in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.